Look at taking a lot of time here. Finally, the shockwave, but too many builds in the way. He'll have to switch to a launch pad. It was kind of like a turret online right there. No one could leave his box, his kind of vision, without getting shot by some type of damage. Now he's going to base up and get online in a different position. And his last shot actually gets Kampabito down. And then once again, just trains his eyes on his next victim. Ammo is going to be an issue for his rocket and his shockwave launcher. Gets a tag on players using the crash pad out of zone, but there they are, and they land somewhere firmly within. Still more players coming through. The beams, the tracking is so good for Booga. Descend from height with it, with the builds remaining, but now waiting for the opportunity to drop down on the tree to farm that out if necessary. There's a the last shockwave. I think it did count. At least one player went out, but will they get back in? Right now, very suspenseful for Buga, just him and his shot, and there's a big one. Trap killed, goes down, and now it's all up to him to reclaim height and get back in this Ooh. game. Only 70 mats, what a shot. It's a storm kind of notifier that I thought was the elimination. It doesn't matter. Eclipse goes down, another opponent all the way up top. Buga is literally magnetic with these shots. He is not missing, only hitting heads. He's not even choosing to break walls. He's letting people walk into him. A big kerfuffle gets one. Can he find two? The beam, it's there, but he will end up top three what a game from booga in that final zone and the names that we saw booga actually taking out when I mean, we saw trap killed saw another number of people that we've seen time and time again on na west there's assault there's white hp on the back side of this yes it will be an elim rudy goes down and he's gonna go quick back for the mats i don't know if that's a good decision or a bad one he has the floppers he can get back on hp and he was in zone okay thankfully and now it's gonna continue to move though that time has been elapsed. And down the hill it will go. I think he's gonna go ultimate low here. This will give him the, the room to operate. Go ultimate low would give him pretty much nobody down there as they all wanna stay on top of the hill, but no, it will come right around the side. So he wants to stay up as best as possible. Yeah, very good insurance. If you're going all the way ultimate low, even with 1500 mats, you're locked in onto everyone else's decision to hold you down from climbing back up that mountain. Right now, he has those crash oh, pads, though, to oh. be able. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? What a snipe. Okay. And they will break the truce. There we go. <laughs> it's a tournament, right. but hey, you got to have fun, man. You got to have fun. I don't know if that's fun <laughs> or just breaking rules, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was a dream. All right. That's what we saw. A little bit of a dreamland alternate dimension thing going down. Now regular <laughs> gameplay for Lorax ST. I think this is the first time I'm seeing him play, and he is definitely playing a different game than what I've seen before stair in but out the back is where wavy jacob goes gives himself the space i'm wondering if wavy jacob is happy with this fight at all you saw the reaction earlier and he will go back in on the fight that's a difficult edit to reset and it's a quick one is that i can't quite read the name i thought it was one of the players who played na east grand finals many times but wavy jacob will put him down has to be very careful with what line he takes in. If he just glides one way, he's confirmed and staying there. People will have an extra second to beam before he can correct course due to his ping. Right now, though, he has shots laying down, dealing a lot of damage, not getting any full eliminations, an entire ring of action in the middle of his screen. That's the audio all around him. And what a shot, what a space Ooh, to be in. Two. Was that two back to back? It was. He's nuts. That's tricks going down too. He gives him time. Oh my goodness. Now, two of those Elims. He's starting to roll up in the points. And he gets another one on the player who's stuck in that zone. He goes down way later. And he finally finds himself some space with one more crash pad. But again, stops a little too early on that zone. These Elims have all been so far away. There's been nothing for him to just reclaim in terms of materials. His launch pad is gone. Those crash pads are now down to four. Is in zone actual action items are there though the floppers four of them to use two more chuck splashes so he can delay but as we saw in the last couple of stack games that we watched these players take forever to fall so the flopper players or the flopper plays in this day and age are not really buying you that much placement there's gonna be one point there everyone does matter in dreamhack but they're finally the crash pad, he's got three more of those and still two floppers. So if there's ever any placement going to be awarded by loadout alone, it's right here, right now for Chajnik. 
His blueprints are burned. His mats are gone. Now it's all up to instinct. And he's just there. A complete bounce house. A good angle, though, to stay hidden. Oh, now what? finally released. And he's in front of the zone. Does he block someone? There's someone yeah, in his box. He, he has the edit. He got him right behind Isn't the there? stairs. Almost. Solo One HP. Oh. But the crash pad will get him out. And now the time ticking again. Still two, though, for him. He's going to go back on that Elim. No. Flopper in tow. Still, now he has to make it through this eighth zone, and there's 19, 16 people up. Still, the two more crash pads, like we said, but only 10 builds now. Has to find an impact that this crash pad will not last long at all. He has to go ultimate low. There's players on the backside. This is so close. Oh my god. On the dead side, too, he finds it. Still somehow staying alive, and there it is. I mean, let's talk about what every single player wants from opens, right? A good mindset, something to work off of for semis and grand finals. For Arkham, it's getting first place. For Tavern, it's maybe about who has the most first places getting up there. And for Buga, it's about winning all these box fights and playing as aggressively as possible. But he bounces it right back, and now he's in hold position. Yeah, he's gonna hold for a bit, but zone coming. This guy should be able to make his way out. No, he's one HP. Oh, I did not realize how low this player was. And Booker will find the tags and probably the Elan. There it is. Well done from him. The fight didn't go his way. Looked like Flopper Sun was, was definitely going to be difficult to catch up, but he has the room to do it. Don't forget, though, Elan cap has been instituted this week, which means those 20 bombs will not count for much more than a 20 bomb, unfortunately. The rate of that happening, though, obviously we haven't even really seen that when we watched open so far, but Paper will try to catch up in that fashion 129 points already so past halfway slightly so i'm gonna subtract what 20 points so you said 175 150 double that yeah 300 will be around call 300 okay and starting late so paper's doing some catch up and he will catch up with the player who's for some reason crash padding in the middle of the open mid game so easy beams for paper it's a little different than what we saw him when we checked in with him and playing eu this is a player who's played all three regions but is familiar to west if i'm not mistaken played a significant amount of the fncs's on na west nice find and this is like one of those tricky spots now where like, oh, no, never mind. There we go. I was going to say, it's really hard to find eliminations on bounce backs, especially through old builds, but Jeff might just find two. Hmm. Now that turret mode starts to activate, he's actually putting himself out there on a box to look for some beams, and he's hitting almost every single shot. Nice paper. Still following up. This player's only in wood builds, crash pads, looking like launch pads. In this zone, at least, you don't really need something super super high to get above everyone else those trees are going to keep everyone locked down that does mean a lot more people on paper's lair dangerous but also free eliminations if he finds the right spot to beam from box to box with someone in the way he's not in zone just yet and now out of chuck splashes nice shot there gets a big refresh on materials did he really need it not that much but now another stack of floppers to take that's seven for the rest of this game he dropped them earlier <laughs> He'll pick him back up anyways. Does not care about flubbed edits at this point. There's a player trying to hold, but not for that long. Here we go. The first flopper. There's a crash pad to use. He again uses the last of his launch pads. Three of them so far in this end game. He's going to land on height. Yes. Yeah, he does. He's going to break it down. Yeah, it's only connected by that stair floor and wall. And it's all wood too. But on the side, oh, so close. One more tag will do it. Don't forget he was using some minis back below. <laughs> the tree will catch him. 60 builds left. There's one on the side. It has some shield, so he doesn't go for it. There's another play in the box. He's ready to shoot the shots. And he will juke him completely. Oh my God, lost him. He lost him. And Paper Moore to work with. Chugs, or uh, the crash pads almost loses with the flopper, did not pop. Here's the crash pad back in the zone. He's got to catch up and he actually goes right back down to 50 HP. The same situation he started with. Top five situation heading into this final zone. Now he's pushing the limits. It's the first time I saw a nomination that actually not only oh, had what? the siphon mats, but also <laughs> ankles broken. And once again, he is taking the lobby for a spin. One more crash pad to use to get up top. I'm confident that this mogul master all the way up there does not have any more means of heals. So one more shot will be what it is. 
and what is needed from paper. Question is, where will he take it from? Two more matches left. He can't really control and hold height. Five people left, too. He had a few minis left over. So Paper's still in trouble. Last material, the dream shot, it's there. And that player got taken out by Paper. Yeah, but unfortunately... I know you guys don't need to learn too much about Arkham, but there is some controversy, some uh, some hostilities going on right now with Tavern and Arkham tied for first place at 373 points. Now, obviously, it's heat number one, Shio. Getting first place doesn't mean that much. It's not like they're seeding in the next competition.